to try to capture the one true God using my vocabulary would never do. But he used my words as an expression, an expression of worship to a Savior, a Savior who is both worthy and deserving of my praise. So I use words. My heart extols the Lord, blesses his name forever. He has won my heart, captured my mind and has bound them both together. He has defeated me in my rebellion, conquered me in my sin. He has welcomed me into his presence, completely invited me in. He has made himself the object of my sight, flooded me with mercies in the morning, drowning me with grace in the night. But if there are words for him, then I don't have them. just tools that we use to point to truth. So he sent his son, Jesus Christ, as the word, living proof. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. By him all things were created, giving nothing this formation. And by his word he sustains in the presence of his name. For he is before all things, and over all things he reigns. Holy is his name. Son of God becoming the perfect sacrifice. Now praise him for his death. That he willingly stood in our place, that he lovingly endured the grave, that he battled our enemy, and on the third day rose in victory. Praise him because he's in all this hallelujah he rose. He is everything that was promised. promised. Praise him as the risen king. For one day, one day, we will finally be united with our Savior for eternity, 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 eternity. So arise as he is risen in deep in his power to set the sinner free and by him and through him, we are redeemed. So, it's not just words that I proclaim. For my words point to the word, and the word has a name. Oh 
Surely alive.